Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to Team Jet, sorry, where we are playing as the Bretonians, as Leon Leonke, who has been uh, valiantly pushing forth, for defeating the uh, vampiric forces, not letting any allies die at all. Any Anybody saying so is, uh, is you know, slandering the Leon Leonke's uh, valiant name. That's, that's me, and, and Tom, Tom, who are you playing as at the moment? As the mighty tree, uh, running around killing the pesky dwarves in the mountains. Um, but yeah, back as Durthu and the Wood Elves on their rampage, and currently looking actually what looks to be a cat on a rock. Oh, no. Two cats. Sorry, cat, cats in the mountain passes. Ooh. I haven't noticed that before. Uh, are you, you're having a fight or is that next turn? Uh, that will be next turn. I need to go move towards Grimhold to taunt the dwarves. But, uh, yeah. Otherwise... Yeah, we're, we're on your screen, by the way, man. Just so you're aware. Yeah, uh, I'm just deciding... Uh, I think I need to go with the extra armor piercing damage, by the I, way. I, I keep... do. thinking about it i was just like uh damage because as a race faction wide thing i get bonus attack when fighting against wolves yeah i mean the issue is your dryads are quite glass cannony as well which works well with co-op because obviously we will uh we will roll around them a lot but well in battle as long as they're greater than 50 percent hit points they get plus 20 armor yeah, but a lot of factions get that sort of thing now, I hate to say And it. plus 10 physical resistance. Uh, the physical resistance is the key thing. Yeah. All right, uh, but yeah, no, that's that's it over and done with here. Okay, I've just got a little bit of leveling up. I can't do anything when we're on Tom's screen at the moment because we've currently got a technical issue where <laughs> if I'm in-game, his screen doesn't move on the recording. It's really weird. Uh, so, yeah. Um... So, we have leveled up the boss man, Crown of Bretonia. Ooh, extra leadership for the entire army. That's not bad. And Vigilos reduction for the entire army. And let's start working on Inspiring Presence. And let's level up my damsel. Oh, Rolling Skies is the one I don't... It, it, it affects things which are flying. Who cares? But it's now got a limited range as well. It just, yeah. just seems it's the most naff of those type of abilities. SFO so, has nerfed a lot of the passive ones oh to yeah, make but, up for how much more powerful the actual spells but are. That passive one was always naff anyway. Oh yeah. shit, you know how you said I didn't need to worry about the uh, orcs? You seek the no, I didn't say you didn't need to worry about them. I just said. I will see it done. <laughs> We're the, running, uh, we are running home at full speed. However, your, is there. if you look at the garrison of your home... It's quite good that Ugrok's coming with a full stack. And, I mean, I get to kill some... I get to kill some orcs. What's... 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 You know, that, that's only good, right? And you should have some Glade Guard in there as well. Ooh! Which I can't see. We have pointy-eared people for my people to take the mick out of. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I hope for your sake that they lay siege so you get to uh, fight with a big army. Oh, they're, they're going to run away now. As they do best. I kind of wanted them to take Marienburg so I could move in. <laughs> Marienburg is such a great settlement. I'm but intrigued the... as to how the Empire will do with SFO because it, it's all over the place at the moment in, in the game. Sometimes it survives really well and sometimes it just gets its butt kicked. Well, there are so many threats to the Empire now. Like the Empire definitely needs a buff. It needs it needs somebody else adding to it, something somewhere to give it more strength. And oddly, the changeling helps the Empire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is the funny part. But what I find hilarious is most of the time when I'm playing, the changeling goes, um, Sympathetic? Mm. Uh, I forget the phrase they use. 
it, yeah, I know it. It goes the one where it doesn't actually damage you, and then you never see him the entire campaign. Yeah. You get the but odd that... glimpse. Uh-huh. Because with the changeling, you can't actually wipe him out unless you get rid of all the settlements. Um, Aquitaine is gone. Well. I'm, 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 I'm... I'm piecing with Musilion for the time you being. Come with ladies' tidings. What does that lake? Simply so I can ignore that flank while I deal with the Barrow Legion and the Orcs. To be honest, that's probably not a bad decision for you. I could have pieced with the Barrow Legion as well, but I'm I'm going to go push Griot quite quite quickly, and then I'm probably going to offer peace and leave them in the mountains while I I deal with the Orcs. Warrior King. By the way, I've got one option which I'm really quite tempted by. So, of uh, a tree man himself. Screen, so. Yeah. Um, you know, as I was saying before, how I've got the aspects. Yeah. So I've been holding off doing it for a tree man to decide, because his cost a thousand for each one. And the one, the aspect of the willow, the one which gives, uh, reduces armor piercing damage and gives melee defense. His increases his base weapon damage by 250 and reduces his armor piercing weapon damage That's by 150. Weird. What is his? Look at his actual damage to His start with. actual armor piercing damage is 300. I think that's worth it. Yeah. And it also increases but melee defense mostly, by. 15. Yeah, I was going to say mostly for the 15 extra melee defense for a large unit is very useful. That yeah. gives him what? 60 melee defense? Uh, yeah, that will be 60 melee defense. That's nice. That's some tasty, tasty melee defense there. All right. Let's go dwarf hunting. Guys, write his name in the book. <laughs> Come on, let's fight this. We're going to fight it? Yeah. yeah. So, do you want to know what the tactic I'm going to suggest is? Don't die? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fact that their main army is just miners. Ooh, that's, um... That is a dwarf team engineer. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. It's an SFO lord, obviously. Oh, yep. he's on his own. You could technically finish this battle in two seconds. I oh, could. God. We can cheese them. We are super cheesing them. We can just get to the edge of the map and meat grinder them. The issue is mm -hmm. we won't take the settlement. Oh, uh, no. So the, what I'm going to suggest is take out that lord as quickly as possible. And then you can wait for the reinforcements. Yes, but you won't. Did you attack the settlement of the army? I attacked the army. But it's yeah. a minor settlement. Yeah. I mean, of course it's a minor settlement. It's got dwarves in it. <laughs> I didn't mean that kind of minor. <laughs> but no, I know what you mean. Yeah, we won't wipe them out, but we'll still do a lot of damage to them. Yeah, just just, just, just give me the big tree, man. Uh, no, I was <laughs> yeah. going to give you the... the uh, do you want... Yeah, you can have the uh, Yeet Swarm. Is that not, like, your entire army? <laughs> yep. Right. I'm ready when you are. Uh, no, they've all got Vanguard deployment. Uh, no, you see where the reinforcement position is. Yeah, but they're going to take so long to get there, it's not really going to make much difference. Uh, they might get there at Go on. a normal time. I'm good. Right, let's uh, go. Charge. I did at one point literally have a map where the uh, reinforcements had one route in about 10 meters wide as Bretonia, and I literally just sat in it and absolutely squished them. I'm ignoring the Lord, by the way. Why? It's a weapon team. It's got a... Uh... I'm getting set up. You, you'll you be able to deal with that. Uh, no, attack it. Just send at least one unit at him. Go on. <laughs> yeah, I've sent one unit. Because he's got uh, 1.6 thousand uh, missile strength.
and sending in my spell singer just to oh he digs in as well yeah I did not realize how fast the spell singer was I have noticed as well something which seems to be out is a lot of um casters recently seem to be getting I can't remember which other caster it was got it but um I've I've got a feeling we're gonna see like the chaos dwarves have all casters are gonna get passive ranged attacks which aren't designed to be melee as well if you see what I mean not passive you know they'll get a ranged attack oh the, the hags got that yeah no I actually I really liked the uh, the hag chariot mm. and I I think we're gonna see that for a lot of factions um, that casters will start getting over time we'll just get a ranged attack which kind of makes sense so you know like a fire mage will just fling little fireballs right squish em! they're not making firewood today <laughs> we hope lovely cinematic look along the line and let's do some magic You timed that perfectly, by the way, for my cinematic scroll along. <laughs> I got to it as it went off. Fantastic. I mean, I'm just watching here, because there's literally nothing I can do. There is. Uh, you can revel in the uh, yeah. glory of... Uh... I'm watching your big tree hitting people. Oh! <laughs> Did I kill a bit too many of our own units there? I, no, I never knew that the uh, tree men had uh, matched animations. He picked up a dwarf in his roots. Oh, that's fantastic. He, he knocked it on the floor. He's done it again. Oh, ho, ho. he picks it up with his foot and squishes it. I have never seen that before. Um, would you mind getting that one unit of drives you've got doing nothing, chasing after the... Oh, no, he's routing again now. But chasing after the dwarven... Lord, the uh, previous okay, one. Okay, it's on it. It. Stop me doing cinematic stuff. God. God. Some people, they're chasing. Some of the dwarves are already running. <laughs> Trying to run. Yeah, I'm watching this this uh, tree man do it again. I wonder when they added that. Because I'm sure I didn't, didn't used to be it. It's where the comments are going to be tell me. It's always been there. And always will. And let's summon some crows. Yeah, just, just zoom in on your big tree man. He is absolutely just picking people up and squishing them in his roots. I mean, I was looking at Dirty with his whip hand. Uh, right, where should I fire the lamentation? This is a lot of stunties. <laughs> We're making our way through them, slowly. Ooh. Okay, his lamentation to spares does a lot of damage. Ooh. Also, the... I think they're fleeing. Luckily, because if you look at all the passive abilities of the uh, Yeah, Durfu's Beefo. literally broken the centre. Oh yeah, they've also got fear and stuff. Just all the good things. But the one I really like is uh, the reserves per second for Winds of Magic. Yes. From the Protectors of the Wood. Do you know the one I like? Flammable. <laughs> <laughs> so I had lots of fun recently in a campaign with an army full of fire archers just 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 just, just making them burn. Big tree man's doing nothing. Yep, I've noticed. Uh, I'm trying to decide which side to get him on. 
doesn't make much difference at this point. It's over. We may as well triple time, by the way. Yeah. Depending on how well it works, because multiplayer triple time is always a bit iffy. Still faster, but you can see it's stuttering. It's over. Are we going to be able to kill these lords, or are we going to have to... Uh, just end it. It's no point. We could, but it doesn't really benefit us. No. Nice. Ultimate cheese! I mean, sometimes you just... But you see Got what I mean? To. By choosing it that way, you didn't do as well as you thought. You'd, we yeah. might have been better letting them onto the field and fighting them naturally, but it, it's hard to resist the, the urge, isn't I, it? I know. It really is. Because especially, you know, I mean, if we autoed that, obviously, you know, now the settlement would be empty. Oh, yeah. Cheese. Which... Cheese to the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Still, at least the uh, Wood Elves have pretty decent replenishment yes. from defeating us. Unlike the Dwarves, who have no replenishment. Yeah. I mean, I understand why lore-wise... And, and they're slow growth. And I, I see so many people complaining. It's like, they're fine. I see people complaining all the time that Dwarves are underpowered. I'm like, no, they're not. No, like... A lot dwarves... of people don't know... A lot of people think that... A lot of people expect dwarves to behave like every other faction you can be aggressive with. You can't be aggressive with dwarves. You're meant I to think, turtle. I think for me, the thing about dwarves is sort of... They come... People assume they're sort of not as good anymore. Just because, like, when you compare them to, say, uh, Kislev... As an example. Oh, don't don't get me wrong. I, I I definitely feel they could use a little bit of love, but, but I don't think they're actually. I'm just autoing this now. Oop, I can't even see it. Yeah, it's just uh, wiping out the remnants and occupying the heathland. Nice. Okay, back to my screen then. Um. Uh. What was I doing? Ah, tech. I'm trying to work out if I want to go for the chivalric code now. Town census. Yeah. I went straight for the growth one early. These ones are all good for extra income and stuff, but... Ooh, I always forget you get the end bits which get added on. The end bits? Um, like, um, at the end of my tech tree there's a load of new stuff which is SFO specific. Ah. All right, I'm all done. Yep, uh, I'm just uh, setting my tech so it does it automatically. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it for Durthu this turn as well. Um, but yeah, saying about the dwarves, the thing is the dwarves, in comparison to the majority of races, have had probably the most updates. Yeah, um, they, they're good. They, they they do grow slowly, but that makes sense lore-wise. And I do get some people say, you know, obviously playing multiplayer, they feel a bit co-op campaigns or versus campaigns, they feel a bit. But to me, that's part of a challenge. Yeah. I mean, I do somewhat feel gyrocopters could be a bit better. Yeah. I, I'm going to be honest. Every time I try and use gyrocopters, they just die. Yeah, every, you just... every campaign people go, no, they're really good. And I'm like, are you sure? Yeah, because really even really sure. Even if you get well timed, say with the bombs, you know, like the gyro bomber is just so. I think the way bombing runs are done isn't great. I think they should be able to aut be more automated. But it would be yeah. really hard to do. Much as I say that, I can also see how hard it would be to do that because. Yeah, it'd be hard. Oh, completely. Now, I have a forest encounter. Which I think I'll get on and try to do. I'm just about to take a settlement, so give it a second before you do Oh, that. yeah, no, we'll... Uh... Oh, 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 did you see what this idiot orc just did? Uh, charge your settlement? He, uh, used the underway. <laughs> right in front of my army. 
Well, we will. Uh... I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to kill some greenskins, guys. Clans out. You hope. I'm just altering <laughs> it. It's. It's not even a fight. It would be a massacre. <laughs> I would say poor greenskins. But there we go. That's my second region, Grot. I'm now going to Praise offer these guys there is a, stain a peace on the treaty. World, and that You're so generous. Now I've got him stuck back in his mountain. I, I've got other Who things calls? to worry about, like those guys can, I guess. I will listen, uh, but my time... I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to uh, trespass on Marienburg a little bit to get finished off those orcs. Um, King Luan. Cool. Let's get rid of those buildings. And growth, 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 growth. There we go, and it is over to you, I do believe. So, I have the deep roots available now, but what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to hold off just a couple of turns, and I'm going to move my army back to the winter... Oh, hang on. Uh, I've, I've got the forest encounter. Uh, it's facing a foe in battle, but they're generally... I, my army is depleted at the moment, so I'm going to decide later. Yeah. Um, what I generally find is it is you don't really want to move off until you've got your home nice and secure. Well, that's the thing. The home is sort of pretty safe now. What I mean is you don't want to accidentally uh, leave and get and lose the world tree. Oh, yeah. But... To be perfectly honest, it's not like that's uh, game over anymore. Kind of thing. Sorry, uh, just doing, getting some money through diplomacy, so I can try and upgrade my uh, settlement again. Uh, which I'm sure, by the way, upgrading wood elf settlements, <laughs> ridiculous. Mm. So up to tier three, thirteen thousand nine fifty. <laughs> and. It's not that much. I, I've noticed I'm running a lot of income at the moment, as do you seem to be. Uh, SFO buff. Yeah. Because of the extra cost of recruiting. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that is over for me. Cool. I've just got a couple of bits and pieces. It's annoying because of this, I can't do anything while you're doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh. But yeah, the next woodlands so, yeah. I'm actually thinking of getting is uh, Heimrich Kemblers. I am leveling up my knight, so it's only charge bonus. It does up weapon strength as well a bit, but... Obviously leveling up my knights first, because, you know... I shall do what I can. King Lewin. Uh, now, I'm assuming you're going to try and take Blackstone Post. No, I pieced out. Oh, you pieced out? Yeah, I told you that. Uh, I thought for some reason you were meaning uh, Musilion. No, no, I've already pieced out of Musilion. I don't want to push up there. I want to deal Grung's Int first. I didn't take a non-aggression pact. I just took a peace treaty, if you see what I mean. Ooh, we can yeah. level up the capital Grown again. Uh, plus, um, this this, this, this winged guy here, you all can't see my screen, uh, Bellacor is has dealt with Albion and is almost certainly about to head my <laughs> way too. So, yeah. Hey, that's me. Yep. I'm wondering if I might just go take Albion, just for the sake of it. I mean, why not? Because then we don't have to deal with Bellicor. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm probably going to sail over there and deal with him. It's just, it's not good territory for me to hold. Hmm. <clears throat> Because obviously all territory is good territory too. For the oh, that's the other thing I was talking about. Sorry, I was talking to Tom about the um, large... If you've not seen it, guys, at some point they're, they're making a mod, which is just the old world. So the Warhammer 1 map, but Immortal Empire size. So Reichland isn't one province, it's four provinces, guys. Um, and Albion is huge on it, which is going to be so cool, especially with some of the, with like the OVN mods and stuff. 
I mean, it's it's really <sighs> because obviously the current Warhammer engine has been going for such a long time now. Right, I've 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 got a little bone to pick with that because that's not unusual. Yeah. Um, people, this seems to keep coming up. People, I, I'm seeing people. I'm not saying you're saying it in the wrong way, but I'm constantly seeing people saying. One. Oh, the engine's really old. It's not up to anything anymore. It can't do, you know, it's ancient. They need a new engine. They need a new this, that, the other. But it's not what people think. So how engines work um, is, I mean, yes, to an extent, that is correct. It's an old engine. I'm sure they'd love to have a new engine. But it's not as old as people make out for game engines and effectively sorry I'm switching over to you by the way <laughs> I'm just sorting some um, recruitment yeah effectively that's how engines in companies which have got their own engines even companies which are using bespoke off the shelf engines go you know they'll use the engine they'll make alterations for it for a game they'll then then you can then they're then going to make a new game and they'll build off what they've already built, if it makes sense to. And they'll roll things they made from the other game into the engine. And that's how the engine will go on. And, you know, they'll roll improvements into the main bit over time. Making a brand new engine from scratch is a huge... It's probably bigger than making a game. So, oh, that, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things of... And effectively... What they'd really be doing is taking the current engine and just spending a lot of time doing TLC to it and removing some things and adding some things they'd like to or doing some things in a better way. Um, but it's not as bad as people make out. I see this coming up all the time at the moment of the engine is ancient and it really doesn't work. And, and I've seen people saying it from leaks from devs and... I'm going to be honest, I suspect those devs are quite junior because it's not as unusual as people think. I've worked on lots of projects where that's effectively what's happened in the pro... I've, well, not lots of projects, but I've worked in projects where that's basically what's happened on the project. Um, and that's a single game, what I'm talking about, so... I mean, I was going to say, I still remember the uh, when they changed from... You know, dropping the pins on the oh, map. Oh, yeah, that is separate. Was, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm going to stop ranting now, guys. <laughs> but one thing which I do somewhat miss, which uh, someone pointed out to me a while back, and I was just like, oh, I didn't actually realize. But since... I think since... Uh, yeah. Since we had Attila, after Attila, there haven't been really any Warhammer games where you're not starting is like with one settlement or one army because I mean if you remember in Attila like you could play mm. as an Eastern or Western Roman Empire or just as one of the hordes or even Attila and yet you'd yeah. be completely different initial scale with all different problems and strength and uh, honor yeah, I, I kinda. Ooh, 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 these orcs are a bit tougher than I thought. Smite I'm gonna have to down. siege. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I do kind of get. I, I'm. I, I don't. Uh, Bellicott is really close. I just can't it. risk it. I, I can't risk staying there. I need to get the on home. I am the blood of Shield. I ascend to your order. Double time! Mm. Okay, that, that, that's that's almost literally me. And I, right, I do I one am... more thing. So over to you. Yeah, so I can now recruit my uh, Deepwood Scouts with Swift, Sh uh, Swift Shiver Shards. Nice. Because I prefer them over the base ones just because of that extra missile strength. Yeah. Um... Don't I'm gonna some get... of them have armor piercing though. Yeah, so the swift shiver shards. Uh yeah, they do have armor piercing missile damage, mm -hmm. and there are two projectiles. I think there's a, is there not a third variant which has armor piercing? But uh, you might no, be so level. that's with the glade guard. Ah, that might be more worth it for you at the moment for uh fighting dwarves. 
Uh, I'm not fighting dwarves anymore. I've killed them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they, the you dwarves weren't difficult to wipe out. I say I've recruited a waystalker because uh, the army buffs which you can get. Yeah. Are just like the endless hunter bonus reload reduction time for army in forest battles. Uh, but yeah, no, that is uh, my turn, and then <clears throat> I'm going to do that ambush next, I think. Cool. And I'm, I'm keeping a very close eye. I have noticed in multiplayer when I'm moving around on the end turn, it kind of jitters a bit because mm. obviously it's 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 getting a bit it's it's working out what's happening between us. Trying to figure out uh, who's being the most mad. Me more. Where is Bellico? I think he's going for Leoness. But I still don't trust him. To be fair, even if he is, I'm probably going to go ashore and get, go and chase him into that territory and try and take him. The question is, what's the actual strength of his army? Because the uh, we need to remember how good the Chaos Warrior armies can be from very early Oh, on. I know. I know. And he's got... I'm looking at it now, and he's got a lot of demons in there as well. He's got some puppies. He's got Nurglings. He's got um, Nurgle's ones, uh, blood letters, um, Slaneshi ones. I can't remember the names of them all. So he's got all sorts. And he's got a lord who looks terrifying. <laughs> I'm actually quite glad that uh, the Warriors of Chaos aren't the end game anymore i think they are still good there's still going to be an end game based off them at some point well i think eventually reasoning... every faction's gonna have an end game crisis based off it i for me though the reasoning is is they are so much everywhere and, and so much yeah oh no no i know what you mean uh anyway guys we are going to be leaving this one here with us about to face off against uh bellicor and you about to fight an ambush guys seems like a good place to stop it this is me moving over to languel but uh we'll see so I this seems like a good lady. place to stop for now guys as always if you are enjoying this, please do like and subscribe. If you want to see more of Team Jet, me and Tom playing, uh, comments down below letting you know what you think we should doing, we should be doing, and how many times Tom is in the book for killing dwarves. Um, <laughs> yeah. Other than that, as always, as well, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That is Monsterbound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Brandon. Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, Scrin, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.